a quick video, I hope, <laughs> to show you what it looks like on the student side of Google Classroom. I know that some schools don't um, have dummy accounts um, on, on their email um, school domains and the it's trying to help students uh, through this process without being able to see what they're seeing is very challenging and I hope that this can provide you a little more insight of what the students are experiencing. I've created several different assignments and different types of files within those assignments so that you could um, better assist your students on how to access the information, how to turn the assignments, and what that looks like to them. I'm going to start from the bottom with a Google Doc. And what happens is that I find that students are just clicking the doc right away. Um, they can, but then they may not understand what else they have to do. So I recommend all my students to go all, don't click this first link, go all the way in and click view assignment. And then you will see that like, they might be like, just like looking and staring right here, looking for an attachment, but it's actually over here. It looks like it's already submitted, but it's not. So they have to click on that attachment from that location and then they can fill it out. And then all the changes are saved in Drive automatically. They come back to Google Classroom and click Turn In. And they can even fill out a private comment that goes to you as well, or a comment to the class. If they need to turn anything else, they can also add it in addition to it. Okay, next we're going to go to a Google slide. Again, don't click on the, I tell them don't click on the first link. You have to click on view assignment. And still, like they might be looking here for it, but it's actually right here. Click on it. They can change the slide how they need to. All the changes are saved in Drive. They go back to the classroom and they can add something else if they need to. They don't have to, but they just click turn in. Then uh, for Google Drawing, again, don't click the link at first, click on View Assignment. Nothing over here, it's all over here. And whatever it is in Google Drawings you want them to do, they can do it. The save is automatic in the drive. Well, again, get something in here for you. Okay, now it's gonna say everything's in the drive. They click turn, they see, they, this is what they see and they click turn in. And they'll say one attachment will be submitted, so it confirms it. Now I'll show you a Google Form that's not a quiz. Um, they can, because Google Forms automatically create their turn-ins, um, they can click on this link, but I still, just for good practice, I tell them to click view assignment. You'll notice that nothing's here, but it's over here where we want everything else to be, unfortunately. And they just go in and they fill in the form and um, I've already done this once tonight so and I have it set as not accepted anymore but they fill in the form and when they fill in the form it'll automatically show as being done. I'm just going to click mark as done but again when they fill the form this will be automatically submitted for them and they would see something different. I apologize for that. We may get that same result on the quiz I'm about to show you. But it's the same concept. Click on the view assignment, go to Google Quiz. I, not, it's, I set it up to not accept more than one. But um, they would fill out the Google Quiz, submit it, and then it would be automatically submitted. So you would see unsubmit here, or your work is turned in. It would automatically do that for them. They don't have to click mark as done on a Google Form or Google Form Quiz. On a question of the day, again, well, how do I answer? I don't know. Well, you have to click on view question. Now, here's another confusing part is that if they could, they might be making class comments here, but if they don't type in their answer over here, then it doesn't count as being turned in. 
They can even see the classmate answers if they wanted to, which is kind of neat. And here's where I just um, created material instead of an assignment. Um, there's nothing that tracks what they're doing because there's no, nothing to, to turn in. Here, I just want them to watch the walkthrough, which explains how to do the assignment. And it takes them to an external video link and then to click on the link here. So this is just like basically a resources material. Um, if you need to track any of that, then you'd need to um, somehow affix that to a trackable document and just provide it as a hyperlink. Now here's something I wanted to show you. Um, I did the reuse post and I chose something from a different class. Now this um, dummy account is not attached to this class. Um, but I reused post and I used this post from a different class and I was surprised when I did this because when I clicked on view material and I brought up the slide and I clicked on the link, it actually brought me to a class they're not signed up for. So that was kind of surprising to me. Now if they started to complete work in here, it's not going to track grade-wise or activity-wise back in their class. So be careful when you're reusing posts that you just want to use them um, from the class that you are in. So that's the view from the student side and a few more things we'll point out is that uh, they, they can click on view your work. And when they view the work, they can click and get in more details, but also when it's graded where it says turned in, it will actually have their grade. So that's viewable right from the student side of everything. And also, they can click on Google Calendar and see when their assignments are due in the Class Drive folder if they want to go there or need to go there. And then this is just a different view of everything opened up and it shows whether it's turned in or not turned in. So that's just some extra stuff to show you. And now I'm going to log out as the student and show you the teacher view. It's a process to go back and forth from teacher to student. That's one thing I wish we could do is view as a student or view as a teacher. So when I go into the class and I'm going through these you can see it's turned in I would click on their assignment and you can see where they have where I or they have filled it out I can assess them over here add a private comment now if we had more students in this class I would click on this arrow and I could sort turned in and not turned in and that will push all the turn-ins, like I would click on status, it will push all the turn-ins up to the top and then I can just use these arrows to navigate without having to click out of this window and just navigate grade, navigate grade, navigate grade and then at the end of that I could choose return multiple submissions instead of just hitting return every single time. Click return and I can just go through that process for all the assignments I can even come in through the grade book and do this. So here's the Google Slides. Access it. Again, I could sort, turn it in a knot, give the grade, add a comment if I wanted to, click return. And then um Google Drawing, click on the assignment, see what I drew, give the feedback and the grade, click return, click return again, and that pops in there. Now here's, I'm going to pop in and do um, the Google Form, not a quiz. I think I can show you what I saw for earlier here. So. Um, that, that, that's just because I did this earlier and didn't reset the quiz. But you would go in there, you see the responses. Again, this is not set as a quiz. Just come in, okay, they did the quiz. 
there's their score it says a draft now you want to when you have these grades you want to make sure that you return them so that they can that can kick it off of the draft status and make make that finalized and then here's the Google form quiz I see you can't click on this but you have to click on the quiz itself and again I have I didn't reset before I did this video for the second time tonight but um, you could also import the grades um, when you're in the quiz and after you do all the grading in the quizzes um, then you would have to release a score and when you come back here you would click on import grades and um, since I don't have this linked up and turned on correctly right the second but um because I just want to get the student view information out it would import into here automatically without having to hand enter it and you can return it so that's pretty much it in a nutshell like even though the, um, they have the material there's nothing to grade in the material there's nothing to do in the announcement post or anything like that but um the this is just another way to view who has done what so far and what's not done well the question of the day we can check that I'm not sure if I checked that or not yeah I did okay um and now one more time I'm gonna log back out as a teacher and show you what the student sees as far as the grades and whatnot So when they're in their class for you, they can even um, click on view your work and see their grades right there. They can see assigned, but they've done all the assignments, return with grade, they're all there. What's missing, but they've done all their work. So there's different ways for the students to see their work and where they stand as well. And I just found that the other day, which was, which I thought was pretty helpful. So I hope that this helps you understand um, what the students are seeing on their end and if they go back when it go back in and fix it all they have to do is come back in and add or create or take it out and put them out and just click on resubmit to resubmit the assignment so i hope this helps you understand what the students are seeing i really do think that the majority of these issues are and even my high flyers have issues with it is they aren't clicking far enough into the assignment and they don't really understand what they're looking at, especially when it's auto-populated over here as being in the turned in spot. And they're probably looking here and not even understanding that this is what they have to click on. So I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at chrisgilbertmusic at yahoo.com or on Facebook, I'm Chris and Elizabeth. Thank you very much and have a great night.